What's up guys, it's your boy Shudan here and today we're coming to you guys with another full review of a product that I wanted to review for a while now. Now this is the Fafine K688, a studio microphone or should I say dynamic microphone that is good for podcasts and is a good budget microphone for the price. Now in this video, we'll be going ahead and giving you all the specs and rundown of what this microphone has to offer and also giving you some comparisons of this product my other microphones that i have in my arsenal now I, this microphone is a dynamic microphone so this microphone should have some noise cancellation features into it that can help isolate your voice from other microphones that you have so with no further ado let's get into this video but before we get into this video i want you guys to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this one because we have some lots more videos coming your way but no further ado let's get into it what is it guys what's up guys we're back with this video and the first thing we'll be talking about is the build quality now this headphone or this microphone sorry has a very nice finish it is coated in a gloss black finish feels really smooth and is lightweight in body it feels premium it doesn't feel too cheap and i've had i've hadn't had any issues with just feeling it feeling cheap and plasticky it feels really good and it, it i think it is a mid or should i say in the mid tier of being too heavy and being too light it's not too heavy in that department i like it now it has some nice features which it comes with a pop filter and it also comes with a shock mount on the headphone itself so basically you do not have to install it it's already installed for you and just ready to go you basically just hook it up to your shotgun the shock shock mount arm and you're good to go and ready to record now it has some ports on the back which is a type c port an xlr input and a 3.5 headphone jack on the back it also comes with two knobs a headphone or headphone volume knob with 4d 3.5 headphone jack and a gain for the type c now once hooked up with xlr the feature the microphone mute switch which is a touch capacitive button does not work and you are just left with a shell of a microphone now that's not a bad side or a downside because it definitely still sounds good has really good sound quality even though you are getting rid of that mute switch so i say even though you're getting rid of that mute switch you are having to hook up to your amplifier that you can probably control the mute with that. So I don't think it's a loss, but that is definitely a negative when basically losing that mute switch if you would love to just hit that and mute your microphone. Now onto some of the other features, which is comparing this with my other microphones and letting you guys hear how this sounds by itself and letting you hear my Blue Yeti Yeti sounds are how it isolates sounds differently from this one sounding uh, more with the dynamic features and the Blue Yeti which has a little bit more louder um, sound floor because it will pick up a lot more noises in the environment. But let's let's go ahead and hear both microphones as we go ahead and test each. Alright guys, so I will be testing the Blue Yeti with the cordial pattern which is one that's supposed to be close enough to me and seeing how many voice or audio it picks up now there's things going on in my background at this point so you guys should hear some of that noise bleeding into the blue yeti even though it sounds really good so i will give you that audio test i won't try to edit it or do anything to this audio but just record the blue yeti now, as you guys can see, the Blue Yeti is here in front of me, and that's concludes the audio test. All right, guys, now I'll be testing the Fafine with the USB input. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be snapping, because I don't really have a lot of um, no background noise. I'll be snapping in the background to let me know if you guys are hearing that. Now, the gain is at a very low level at this point, so 
I had it really low just to um, let you guys hear how it sounds and so you guys can know, you know, how good it it sounds at a low level because I think at a low level, I think it's the best settings for the fine and it's, you know, good for performance when it comes down to trying to isolate background noise. Now, I'm snapping again, snapping closer, snapping right in the mic. I'm going to go silent. All right, that's it. Now we'll go on to the next input, which is doing the the other test. So now this is the final test. Now we'll be testing the Fafine microphone with the Focusrite interface, audio interface. Now we'll see how this sounds. Now it is at probably the middle gain of the, the knob. I'll turn it up a little bit so you guys can hear much. Um, I'll be snapping again so you guys can hear the background noises. Um, I know with the Blue Yeti, I didn't have to snap because you guys were hearing a lot more stuff in the background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to snap and let you guys hear. I'm going to be talking, snapping, snapping again while talking so you guys can hear. This is close. Putting my hand as far as I can out. Now be quiet. All right, so that's basically the the background noise test to see how far away you can pick up the audio. Now, I am on air at the moment. Let me take air off. Remove air, and it's now on the 48-volt option, which is just using the phantom power. So this microphone can open up a lot more and sound better. That's it. Now we're going to sum up the video for you guys. All right, guys, so after doing both tests of all the microphones, I can say the Blue Yeti does sound a lot fuller when it comes on to recording, but it picks up a lot of noise in the background. So if you're using Blue Yeti in an environment that is very quiet, I suggest you go for that. But you can definitely get away with sounding really good with this microphone as well. Now, if you guys have listened to this part, and the first and the second part you will see that this sounds very clean and sounds really good now there are a couple settings that you can change in your editing software which is like um, audacity that can basically make the microphone sound really good even though this microphone does not sound bad default it still sounds really good by itself not being edited which i like so so far now I, from the conclusion, there is some noise that is being picking, picked up by this microphone, even with the focus right and with USB. So you still will be getting noise. Now, I suggest you guys will definitely be able to run this through Audacity with the noise cancellation feature and remove a lot more background noise versus the Blue Yeti because the Blue Yeti picks up a, a lot more noise than this. So I suggest getting this it's less cheap it's less than the blue yeti because the blue yeti goes for 100 dollars to 110 or 120 depending on where you buy it or what version but you can get this for 80 or sometimes lower depending on when you buy it so in my conclusion i say this microphone is one of the best microphone and is really decent for the price so guys i suggest go ahead get this microphone and you won't be disappointed in the the quality or the the performance that this microphone has so go ahead hit the like button and subscribe this one helped you out in buying another awesome product that will definitely help you out in making your podcast or your creative making your creative game easier so that's gonna be it for today's video hope you guys like this one and i think this is a definitely a cup for any of you guys who are wanting to have some some more isolation in your audio for doing um, voiceovers um, live streaming anything that you want audio wise but that's it for today's video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace